Stalker Channing played Rizzo in Greece decades ago, but the actress's career hasn't slowed down since. Over the years, Channing has split her time between the silver screen and the Broadway stage. And there's even more to know about the actress who played Rizzo in the ever-popular film. After finding success in Greece, Stalker Channing went on to star in two television shows, Just Friends and The Stalker Channing Show. Just Friends came out soon after Greece in 1979 and followed Channing's character Susan, a recent divorcee, as she moved from Boston to Los Angeles to rebuild her life. The series was rebranded and recast the next season, resulting in The Stalker Channing Show. While there isn't much known about either of these shows, Channing did let fans know one thing. She didn't love that title. I said I didn't want to call it something The Stalker Channing Show because it embarrassed me. <laughs> Channing also noted that working on sitcoms like The Stalker Channing Show or her later show, Out of Practice, came with their own struggles. She said that even though she worked on those shows decades apart, they always ran into the same issues when it came to dealing with network executives and industry politics. And I said, my God, this hasn't changed at all. I admire anybody who makes a sitcom work because it's so tough yeah. and, and scary. Grease may be an iconic film for a generation of moviegoers, but for Stalker Channing, taking the role of Rizzo was all about the paycheck. After her initial success in the film industry with movies like The Fortune, work seemed to be drying up for Channing until Grease came along. Speaking to Variety, the actress explained, It was a summer job. I needed the gig. Channing, who was already in her early 30s at the time, said that when she was offered the role of the 17-year-old Rizzo, she gladly accepted. I was grateful just to pay my rent for a few months. She went on to explain that while she thought she was an odd choice to fill the role given her background, she wasn't about to complain, telling herself, Well, it's a, go it's a job like any other and I'm going to do it. Even with the film's major success, Channing said that she's only seen the finished film twice. I nice. saw it when it first came out at the premiere, and I saw it, I think there was a 20-year anniversary. And she dropped this truth bomb after admitting she hadn't seen the film's sequel, Grease 2. I have um, other things to do. Yes. It's rare that actors portray the same role on the stage and the screen, but seasoned actors like Stalker Channing can do it without even breaking a sweat. Channing starred in the Broadway show and eventual film adaptation of Six Degrees of Separation. For her performances, she was nominated for several prestigious awards, including an Oscar. Channing said that she originally opened the play in England and then came back to do the film. In fact, she was so good in the original play that the playwright only agreed to make the film if Channing kept her role. It was a fascinating enterprise to do, and I think that it really um, it helps when you redo things. Plus, along with the unique experience of getting to approach the same part in multiple ways with a different cast, Channing said there was one more additional perk to reprising her role for the film. Guess what? You know your lines. <laughs> in 1996, Stalker Channing starred alongside Morgan Freeman and Robin Wright in Mall Flanders. The film followed Mall Flanders, played by Wright, as she finds a way to survive after her mother is executed. Wright's character comes in contact with Channing's character, Mrs. Allworthy, the headmistress of a brothel, when she's looking for work. The wealthy Mrs. Allworthy isn't exactly the world's greatest boss, but she's one of the most powerful women in the story. She's pretty conniving in the film, and Channing does an amazing job of playing a woman we love to hate. In one interview, Channing gave some insight into what it was like playing an evil woman. Sometimes it's uncomfortable because evil people, I think, are usually angry at people around them for not doing their job right and giving them what they want and all the rest of it. Speaking about her character in Mall Flanders, Channing clarified that she didn't think Mrs. Allworthy was a total psychopath, explaining that the character was an ordinary, venal human being who, despite her greed, could be kind of funny at times. If you've seen The First Wives Club, you may not have realized that Channing has a pivotal role in the film, especially because she was only in the movie for a few minutes. Stalker Channing had a bit part as Cynthia, the old college friend of the film's main stars. After learning that her ex-husband Gil has married his mistress, Channing's character gifts her expensive pearl necklace to her maid, mails off letters to her old friends explaining her situation, and then promptly throws herself off her penthouse balcony. While not explicitly stated, it's suggested that she ended her life because of her ex-husband's recent marriage. 
Channing's role is fairly short, but arguably her scene is one of the most important moments of the entire film. Without Cynthia, the three friends in the film wouldn't have felt the need to come together and get revenge on their own ex-husbands. While some fans recognized Stalker Channing as Rizzo from Greece, plenty of others were introduced to the actress in 1998's Practical Magic, the witchy classic known for its spot-on music choices, iconic 90s fashion, and its focus on the power of family. The movie mainly focuses on the story of two sisters, played by Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. However, the sisters' aunts, played by Stalker Channing and Diane Wiest, are a pair of scene-stealers in their own right. Practical Magic didn't do great when it first came out, but it's achieved cult status in the years since it premiered. And we definitely think this is in part due to Channing's amazing performance as the quirky Aunt Frances. And though the film wasn't well-received initially, Entertainment Weekly confirmed in 2019 that HBO Max greenlit a new prequel series for the film. Reportedly, the series will focus on Channing's character doing witchy stuff in the 1960s. One of Stalker Channing's most well-known roles since starring in Greece was her recurring guest spot as Dr. Abby Bartlett, the president's wife in the political drama The West Wing. Airing from 1999 to 2006, the show was a mega-hit. Over its seven-season run, it was nominated for over 250 awards and won 120. Channing's performance was responsible for several of those nominations, and she even won an Emmy herself for her performance in 2002. Fans of the show know that The West Wing felt particularly relevant when it aired in the early 2000s. Channing even confirmed that fans of the series thought that the show somehow knew something audiences didn't, thanks to its often prescient storylines. At the time, it was so parallel to the current administration that people said, oh, come on, you must be have access to information we don't have access to." Channing also revealed that she almost didn't take the gig because originally she didn't have a huge role. However, her one scene with Martin Sheen, who played President Bartlett, went so well that she was added into the show on a semi-regular basis. It turned out we had great chemistry and there was a couple of moments and everybody loved it and the ratings went up. And yeah. In 2002, Channing took on the role of Judy Shepard in The Matthew Shepard Story, a far cry from her experience playing Rizzo in Greece. Based on a true story, the film covered the trial and sentencing of the killers of Matthew Shepard, who was tragically beaten and murdered in 1998 for being gay. Channing played his grief-stricken and conflicted mother. The movie itself was incredibly powerful, and Channing's performance won her a Screen Actors Guild Award and an Emmy Award. Channing admitted in a Q&A with the Screen Actors Guild Foundation that the movie was a tough project to get off the ground. It seemed like no one wanted this story told, even with Goldie Hawn as one of the producers. It took a lot of pressure, even after we made the film, to get it out there and get it supported, etc. But Channing was proud that everyone involved pushed so hard to get the film made, saying that she thought it was an important story to tell with a far-reaching impact. Long after playing Rizzo in Greece and after her award-winning TV roles, the next step for Stalker Channing was to find a new program for her to show off her acting chops. That opportunity came along with the short-lived yet super funny Out of Practice. The show followed therapist Ben Barnes, played by Christopher Gorham, as he struggled to find his own way in the world while under the shadow of his extremely successful family. Channing played the mother of Gorham's character, Dr. Lydia Barnes, a status-obsessed cardiologist whose ex-husband is played by Henry Winkler. A pre-modern family Ty Burrell starred in the show as well. Unfortunately, the show was only on the air for one season, despite pretty solid reviews. Still, Channing's performance as Dr. Barnes stood out to many, and she was nominated for an Emmy Award in 2006. After her time on film and television, Stalker Channing made a return to Broadway with the revival of Pal Joey in 2008. Although it got mixed reviews, Stalker Channing spoke highly of her experience playing Vera Simpson. In addition to Pal Joey, Channing starred in Other Desert Cities in 2011. After that, she moved to another show called It's Only a Play, which featured Nathan Lane, Matthew Broderick, and Rupert Grint. The Grease actress said that working with such a well-known cast of actors was like being on a basketball team. Speaking to Broadway World, Channing explained, You have to play the game and you have to play it with each other. It really is teamwork. Channing also starred in Apologia twice, once in London in 2017 and again in New York in 2018. It was so good. It was really? just so good. And the part was 
very large and, uh, <laughs> and very interesting. The actress went on to explain what drew her to the complex and sometimes misunderstood character of Kristen Miller, saying that the show avoided cliches while giving every character their own unique point of view. And it's funny, too. The Good Wife fans probably recognize Stalker Channing from her time as Veronica Loy, the mother of Alicia Florick, played by Juliana Margulies. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Alicia. What a lovely mother you have, Alicia. Thank you. The star was featured on the show from 2012 until the show ended in 2016. In a description that sounds extremely reminiscent of her role in Grease, Entertainment Weekly's original announcement of Channing's casting described the character of Veronica, she is mercurial and influenced by her 1960s counterculture youth. Channing's character first appeared on the show in an episode called A Defense of a Marriage, in which Veronica comes to town to get legal support from her daughter after Veronica's husband dies. Veronica is annoyed because at the last minute, her late husband cut her out of his will because she cheated on him. Audiences enjoyed watching Channing and fellow Broadway veteran Mary Beth Peel, who played Alicia's mother-in-law Jackie, consistently throw jabs at each other, which lasted all the way until Channing's final episode. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite actors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!